Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Monday morning. Had a bit more rain over the weekend, but uh, the forecast is uh, is good for this week. So, uh, well, midweek onwards, it's getting warmer. So, uh, yeah, we should get some done. But anyway, first things first, we're going to move some barley. Yeah, so all this shed of barley, it came in wet and it is now dry. We've dried it. So we're going to have to shift it to today while the promenade all seed rates drying. And we'll shift it down into the bottom shed. This is where we're bringing the barley into, into this corner of the big shed. So we'll, we'll get on with it. Now yeah, we've got started moving it. A load of two just going in. While it's wet, we've got, uh, we've put the tree shear on the digger and uh, we're just trimming the overhanging trees so you can get to the dikes because they've, uh, they've really grown over and you get to your boom stuck in them. But, uh, yeah, they just want sculpting, so to speak. They just want to uh, make it to look nice and they don't get caught up in the boom and the hydraulic pipes when we're digging the dikes out. So it's a good job to do while it's wet and we can reach them off grass margins and tracks. So, yeah, we're going to get up to that door. Up this morning, get the combine bed out, get the side nights back on, ready to uh, cut some rape. Fingers crossed, it might be even today if it dries enough late on. Wonder how much the combine weighs. Doesn't really fit on the uh, weigh bridge fully. 20 tons we had. Cutting rape, we've started at half past five. Our first field. Let's hope it stays dry. It talks of showers and talks of it could be potentially wet again tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we shall have to see what we get. But uh, at the minute, it's going fairly well. So, we'll just keep plodding on nice and steady. And, uh, See what happens. Starting to shed, I don't know if you can see it in the picture. Just a bit green on the floor, not too bad, but uh, it needs to be harvested now. Look at that, we've been cutting all night up till half past ten and then it started to rain, so that's what you get it tonight, you get it for the next day or so. Look at all that lot, that's flea beetle crawling around in front of the rain. Hundreds, thousands of them. Not good. Not good for next year. Well, it's 
filling up. In the woodlands of the estate, we've got some contractors in at the minute doing some thinning work, and they've brought this uh, rover cut, which is brand new to them, which is controlled by a remote control buddy box and is clearing the lines of trees, the brush out in between the trees and then uh, another gang is going to come following up with the uh, chainsaws hand thinning the uh, trees out which need to come out. This will allow the remaining trees to grow big and strong and develop into mature pines which uh, can be harvested in the future. in the middle we'll see how it progresses it's all going to be rigged up today ready for drilling rape well the heaver is now a step closer to being ready for action all the pipe work's been fitted for the uh, liquid fert application gives the jets to be fitted That's, and then uh, wants testing but yeah all the pipe work very neatly installed put through a manifold there so yeah it's very tidy from our local uh, engineer who's rigged it all up as i say it's uh, all connected to that front tank what we saw earlier so now we've just got to get the nozzle sorted and uh Give it a test run and then we're ready for uh, drilling rape. Oh, I mentioned this as well. Uh, the rear applicator was fitted with normal uh, spouts on, just like the front one, like that. But what we've done, turn the actual tool bar around and put spreader plates on now. So they're for either spreading slug pellets with the rape or we're going to try uh, spreading some buckwheat as a companion crop to uh, stop, well, hopefully, minimalise any cabbage stem flea beetle damage. We'll see how it goes. Just thought I'd show you this. This green area here, it was wheat, like that. But it was full of black grass and other rubbish. And we decided to top it to try and kill it. But uh, amazingly, just like black grass, the wheat has compensated and it's put another ear out and it's uh, well see where my foot is about 18 inches tall and it's re it's, it's regrowing amazing that yeah if we leave it long enough we'll uh, we'll get it combined but uh, it might be near uh, october and november time before it's ready today's job we're down on the uh, estate woodland at the country park and uh, trim this ride out, take out all the overhanging branches and everything because it's access to uh, one of our fields and uh, stop machinery catching on the branches and um, the chute uses this a lot as well, it branches off into other bits of rides into the wood so we'll just give it a good trim up so, to, so we don't hit anything.
we do need. Yeah, mission accomplished. Well, we finally got back cutting rape again. It's going well, as you can see. Plenty of dust today, which makes up change from lately. It's not raining. So, uh, yeah, we're going to crack on and about another day in rape and we'll be back on barley.
for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been a bit of a longer video this week. Hope you enjoyed it. But uh, I had to put that drone footage on. What was shot by Tom. He knows who he is. So uh, thanks once again for that. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you again next week.